about to get the Parisian sent to the shop. It's on and popping after this. I told him to bring it to rim time. He said, you put rims on it? No, that's why it works. <laughs> Don't you need to do something else to it? Hey, man, I know I do got to do body work. This, that, woo the woo in the third. This we on next. Got the Camaro rims on my G body mining. This is my 1985 Pontiac Parisian with the side skirts. In my personal opinion, if it doesn't have the side skirts, I wouldn't drive it. I, I couldn't, you know what I'm saying? This is the only reason why I would. This is the only reason why I even uh, I like this car, I guess, so I can see, you know what I'm saying? That's the best thing about it, you know what I'm saying? The, the side skirts. Get to see everything. <clears throat> I think that's the worst part to me. Just the roof. You got a little rust spots here and there. You got a little dent right here. Like I was running across something. But for the most part, it's in bad shape, but it's in good shape. I have this chrome piece in the back. I am missing... This little panel right here. It ain't missing, so. And this is the Broham edition. Side skirts. I actually broke the dough before the. Tow truck, tow truck driver's coming. I actually broke the door, so from now on, I gotta get in from the passing side to the, you know what I'm saying, till I get that shit fixed. But I'm getting cleaned up. Finally get the wash. Oh, shit, with this coronavirus shit, might, might as well get some, uh, get some work done instead of just chilling around, so. Got the start up. Got the out of block. Everything. Cleaner. Uh, not cleaner. Out of block carburetor on there. What is it 600? Uh, 650? I'm going to change the oil. Because I don't know how much oil is in here. So I'm going to go ahead and drain the oil. Go to run the auto zone and get some hoses for it. Uh, just to run it, I gotta ground this, what you call it, ground wire for the electric too. So when it start up, and I gotta hook up the exhaust, I'm gonna show y'all when I go under there. Well, you can see right here actually. Let's see. Right here, where it connects is disconnected, so I'm gonna reconnect that. So it ain't as loud when I start it, start it up. And the best thing about these projects, you know, is all the way built, is all you. I'll take a little time, patience. And you can shake anything back.
this other side chrome part for this for that right there so i have all the pieces i believe to my eyes so i'm gonna start uh i'm gonna jack it up she was up with the exhaust right quick see if i get that put together and though the car is kind of ugly i'm saying on the outside for the most part it's kind of mechanically in good condition as far as the front end the front end is tight i checked the front end the front end is tight we got new new front end suspension parts stabilizing links we got the um there's a pitman on right on whatever that is you know which one it is so for the most part it's in okay condition we're just looking at everything and this is a 305 and be on the block so i gotta tighten a few things down my motor mounts gotta be tightened down because who uh the guy who had it before me he's about to pull the motor and they could wind up not not pulling the motor so Just trying to give you a, a more in depth look into the vehicle. So this is the exhaust got to put up right here, hanging down. I took that dad show. So if I can, I'm away. Fix this. Keeping the dirty ass seats out. Still got it on both the driver's seat. I'm gonna keep that both of them right now. Coming with a shop vac. Clean all this uh, debris up and shit. Wash it down. Take all this stuff out. Get that emblem right here. Oh yeah. Coming under here, draining this oil. And good old Earl. I ain't know how much oil they had in here, so I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna go ahead and replace it. Of course, black and sharpie. So I get to try to drain the oil, you know. I don't know, he man himself or the hog must have put this oil filter on. Cause this bitch don't want to come off for nothing. So I had to run the AutoZone. Get a, uh, a big ass fucking, what you call it? Dash out. Back seat. Passenger seat. I got Bishop. Next with me. Match all this out. Got the power windows. What is the power windows? A lot. This might be locked. I'm not sure yet. And what's crazy when I when the tow truck came, got it yesterday. I fuck around and uh, broke the door handle. So I try to open the door. As soon as I could grab a hand and try to open it, and boom, popped off. Somebody get another handle. 
on both sides on the on the inside and outside because outside broke also Hey, really, dude? Really, dog? <laughs> but I want to let everybody know if you're working on a project, man, don't give up, man. No matter what that, what condition it is, man, you can get it. You can shake it back. Turn a few wrenches. It wouldn't be life if some dumbass shit wouldn't happen. You know what I'm saying? It wouldn't be. So y'all peep this off, y'all. I try to take it off. And that jit is not moving. At all. That boy ate up. So I sprayed some uh, PB Blast on it. I had let it sit about 30 minutes. Hopefully it's uh, loose enough. We broke it down enough so I could get this shit off. Like I was saying about the oil filter got stuck. It's been, been jammed on here, so I... What the what fuck, I can't even get my words out. I'm fucking put a flathead screwdriver and I've been tapping it, you know what I'm saying? Well, after the PB blasted and set, I take a flathead, hit it little by little. And after about beating with it for who knows how long. Let's see if I can get it. I'm laying on my back, so I probably ain't gonna be able to show y'all. Mm -hmm. I was over here, being at the time, I gotta make it a new hole right here. Make a bigger turn. The filter from hell. You dirty bitch, you. Let me show you what it look like with a piece. <laughs> Gotta stay in your ten toes out here, yeah. but she. I could do this. Come on inside. And that's just from wiping it a bit down a little bit. So on the Pontiac, I changed the oil, and that was it. I didn't do shit. That fucking oil filter had me, had me fucking with this car all fucking day. So little by little, the Pontiac will, will ride. Y'all heard the engine, heard how it sound. So, you know, step by step, that's all I could take. Step by step. <laughs> 